When Rhaenyra and Laenor return to their chambers in the Red Keep with the newborn Joffrey, they find Luke and Jace playing with Harwin. Luke and his brother show them the dragon egg that Luke chose for their new brother. Luke asks to hold Joffrey, but Laenor takes him and Jace back to the dragon pit instead for their training. At the pit, Luke, Jace, and Aegon pull a joke on the dragonless Aemond by giving him a pig dressed as a dragon and making squealing noises. Luke later trains in arms alongside Jace, Aegon, and Aemond in the Red Keep's courtyard under Sir Criston Cole. Sometime after, Luke is present to Longesty Rhaenyra, Jace, and infant Joffrey as they see off Sir Harwin Strong, who is departing for his seat at Harrenhal. Luke himself later departs King's Landing along with his mother, brothers, and father for Rhaenyra's seat at Dragonstone. Luke is present with Rhaenyra, Laenor, Jacqueries, and the rest of the royal family during the funeral of his aunt, Lena Velaryon. During the funeral reception after, his grandfather, Lord Corlys, discusses with Luke on his future succession as Master of Driftmark and Lord of the Tides once his brother, Jace, ascends the Iron Throne. Luke despondently responds to Corlys that he does not want to rule Driftmark, reasoning that when he becomes Lord of Driftmark, it would mean that everyone is dead. Later that evening, Luke accompanies Jace, Baylor, and Reiner as they confront Aemond returning from riding Vagar, Baylor and Reiner's mother's dragon. When they begin fighting Aemond after he hurls insults at them, Luke joins the fight after his brother is punched to the ground, only for Luke himself to be punched in the face by Aemond, breaking his nose. Despite this, Jace manages to push Aemond to the ground, and he, Baylor, and Reiner begin to pummel Aemond. Aemond nevertheless manages to escape and when Luke attempts to engage Aemond again, he is grabbed by the throat by Aemond, who brandishes a rock to hit him with, threatening to burn Luke alive just like his father, before calling Luke and Jace bastards. This prompts Jace to unsheathe a knife and attack him, but Aemond dodges him before hitting him in the head with the rock. As Aemond prepares to strike Jace again, Jace blinds him with sand before Luke grabs the dropped knife and slashes Aemond in the left eye. The commotion attracts the attention of Lord Commander Harold Westerling and other members of the Kingsguard, including Sir Criston, ordering the children to cease fighting. The children are brought to the Hall of Nine, where King Viserys angrily demands to know from the Kingsguard how this happened, while Aemon's eye is tended to by Maester Kelvin as Corlys, Rhinus, Rhaenyra, and Demon enter the hall. As the children begin arguing on who was responsible for the fight, Viserys orders them into silence, before demanding the truth from Aemon. Queen Alicent comments on what more can be said since Aemond was maimed by Luke. Rhaenyra states in the defense of her children that it was a regrettable accident, that her sons were only defending themselves, and that vile accusations of their parentage were uttered. When Viserys asks what insults were said, Jay states that Aemond called him and Luke bastards. Viserys demands for Aemond to tell him truth on where he heard these rumors, with Aemond replying that Aegon told him. When Viserys questions Aegon on where he heard the rumors, Aegon simply states that everyone knows based on Luke's and Jace's unusual Targaryen appearance. Viserys furiously demands that the children make peace with another, as they are family, but Alicent declares this insufficient. She proceeds to demand that in exchange for Aemon's eye, one of Rhaenyra's sons must lose an eye as well. Viserys shuts the idea down, but Alicent insists that if Viserys will not seek justice, she as queen will ordering Sir Criston to bring her one of Luke's eyes, shocking Luke and the assembled court. Viserys once again urges Alicent to cease, but as he walks away, Alicent grabs Viserys's Valyrian steel dagger and attempts to carry out the punishment herself, frightening Luke and sending the room into uproar. Rhaenyra moves to stop her and protect Luke, suffering a wound on her left arm in the process. The following day, Luke and Jace are present with Rhaenyra as her arm is sewn by a maester Kevlin. When their father, Laenor, enters the room asking what had happened, Kevlin simply states that Luke's broken nose is the worst to have occurred. Rhaenyra then dismisses Kevlin followed by both Luke and Jace, claiming the two have caused enough trouble as is. Sometime after the incident with Aemond and his father's alleged murder and funeral, Luke is present alongside Jace, and his cousins, Baylor and Reiner, for the marriage of his mother, Rhaenyra, and his uncle and their father, Demon, at Dragonstone.